Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, colleagues. Good morning, Nebraskans. It's always been such a point of pride for the Nebraska legislature to get to go and say, well, in Nebraska, we don't put a limitation on how many bills we allow people to introduce. That has always impressed um, other colleagues that we have in other states so much when I talk to them about it. It's a part of the list of things that we are so proud in this institution. We're the smallest legislature in the country, which allows us to get to know each other personally and collaborate and compromise on issues that divide us. And sidebar to that, you know, that's why it's so frustrating too when I hear people say, oh, it is a partisan institution. We talk about nonpartisan, but we know it's partisan. It's time to just do away with that label and be what we really are. Um, obviously, we're all ideological and partisan people, but um, because of so many of these unique features of this legislature, you do see people cross typical party lines to vote for different things. You know, in my time here in the legislature, we've had conservative Republicans vote against abortion bans. We've had progressive Democrats vote for, you know, gun bills that wouldn't typically be part of a democratic platform. You see Republicans vote for climate change legislation that is not always typical of that party. You know, and those types of things are only possible in the Nebraska legislature because we don't have caucuses, we don't have majority minority leaders, we don't have whips, we're a small body, so we can um, have conversations about why these issues matter to us, and people do change their minds. Um, it's happened to me, I've changed my mind, and I've, I believe I've changed people's minds. Not, not always enough, not always everybody, but I have had conversations that were um, revelatory in that way. And when I talk to colleagues from other legislatures, from houses and senates around the country, that is not something they relate to at all. Um, one of my best friends, one of my best lawmaker friends, I've got like three or four folks I really talk to every day. And he's in Philadelphia, he's in Pennsylvania. And he was telling me a story about how it wasn't until like his third year in the House that he was allowed to introduce an amendment to something. And that blew my mind, because it's like, of course, in Nebraska, you could do that right off the bat. And we do. And it's a good thing, because in this legislature, we trust each other to represent our constituents, each of us equally. We don't say you have to earn favor with a party or earn favor with a leader in this body to have that right, because we come in here out the gate equal in the way we represent our constituencies. So to me, um, the ability of senators to introduce as many bills as they want, as they need, as they think is appropriate, um, to introduce as many LRs, LRCAs, as they need or want or think is appropriate, is one of those defining important characteristics of this unique and special body. And it's heartbreaking to me, like, that's not an understatement. And it's heartbreaking to me to have a rule change to take that away, because we're never going to undo that. That'll never get undone. That makes this institution less unique. It's also, to me, kind of a, it's, it's a patronizing nanny state type of thing. It's one of those things like you're just looking for something to do. You're just looking for a rule to introduce. You're just looking for um, a new restriction to put on people where there's no evidence that we actually need that restriction. Now, if this is serious and, you know, taking... One minute. Thank you, Mr. President. Taking points that Senator, that Speaker Arch has made about, well, maybe going down the line, we are getting to be too many bills and it's becoming overwhelming for committees. You know what that calls for? An LR, uh, an interim study. And I've talked to members here in the last two days who don't care about this rule change, who don't think it's needed, who don't think it's important, but said, I'll probably vote for it. Why? Why? Don't do that. What about an interim study? If it's so important, it's going to matter so much. Let's find out why. Let's solve these problems that Senator DeBoer was asking the introducer. It includes LRs, not great. Blood, Bostar, Brewer, Conrad, DeBoer, Dungan, Linehan, McDonnell, McKinney, Merman, Walls, Wayne, all of you have too many bills that would be allowed for this rule. Which bills are you willing to let go? We don't need 
Senator Hansen, respectfully, or anybody telling you how many bills you should introduce because we've got that handled. There's no evidence that there's a problem. Thank you, Mr. President.